Hey everybody, so today I am very excited that I'm going to be reviewing some products from Hippie Crafter. They were nice enough to send me some products to review. All right, so you have your instructions. And then here's the two colors of epoxy. Alright, so it looks like we got eight ounces of each one. So you have the hardener and the resin. And like they they did say that they're gonna be two different colors and it will cure clear. So they sent me this polymer clay set as well. This has 48 different colors of polymer clay. And then we have some tools here. So these are all different tools you can use to sculpt the clay. And then these are all the different clay colors they have. I'm just gonna go ahead and put those out there. This is a lot of clay, wow. Let me tell you, that is amazing. And then we have all of the different tools that we can use to sculpt, as well as the resin, which I want to add the clay to some resin. So that is my, my plans, and I will be doing that very shortly. Okay, so I did buy a couple extra products, uh, which includes a roller and some cutters, and just to make sure that I can do this properly. This tool came with the polymer clay saw. And I'm just trying to make this look like it could be grass. next project. I have my little house mold um, and I got like a yellowish tan color that I decided to use for the house and I'm just using my silicone tool to press all that clay in there and I did go ahead and bake the clay right inside that silicone mold and it came out perfectly. I did see this concept on another channel previously and I wanted to try it out and it was perfect, absolutely perfect.
So I have this laminating sheet, um, basically I'm going to laminate this, because that would be going into the resin. should invest in a laminating machine but so that's done all I gotta do is cut it maybe I can use this plastic for something else um, it's a pretty sturdy kind of plastic so I'll hang on to it Should be plenty. And I just want to make sure cover what I need it to cover. So with some Mod Podge. time to pour the resin so I've mixed the resin for approximately three minutes with the resin and the hardener and now I'm just pouring some clear into my chalkboard that I've had that forever um, didn't really know what I was gonna do with it until just now so I'm putting the house in there with my little yellow windows to make it look like there's lights on inside. And as you can see in the reflection, I have my PPE on. I always wear my mask when I'm using resin. I would recommend everybody do that as well. Now I'm just putting my grass down. Sing it down with my little plastic stirrer <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some more grass next to it a little 
couple more next to it, trying to make it fill up all of that space. Okay, it's the next day, and I just think this came out absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And I put the little moon in there and the little flowers that I made from clay as well as the clay house. Uh, I did have a little over pour on the back, but I will just, uh, I'll sand that down. Nobody's going to see that anyway. <laughs> so I have... So I have made a little welcome sign and I would like to put that on with, uh, with my Cricut, I made that. So I wanna put that on here. I might not put the stars in there. So I really, originally I wasn't planning to put the moon there, but I do think it just looks really pretty. So I just need to get my transfer tape. Just put it like more in the center here. I don't want to cover my um, moon, so here's my varnishing tool. This is permanent vinyl, so it won't come off. I may put um, I may put another coat of resin on top of this. There you go. Oh, I love it. Welcome. 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 I love it. I really am happy with how this came out. The resin has cured very nicely. Um, the clay is unbelievable. The colors of the clay and it's very soft to begin with. I'm really happy with that. So thank you so much, Hippie Crafter for sending me these products. I don't see any bubbles in here. And it just, I really am just thrilled how this came out. I'll be making flower petals out of this one. Oops. All right, so that's good. Let's just put this side for the moment. I'll put that on my mold here. Okay. Stop me and you can't keep me down 
some rose quartz. Let me just try to see how much of this thing. If I put a little bit, oh yeah, it looks kind of pretty. I don't know if it's going to stay where I'm putting it, but I kind of just wanted to give it a little oomph and kind of redefine where those petals are. And if it mixes in with my resin, it's not gonna look bad. It's just, uh, just gonna give it a little sparkle.
nobody but you better listen Cause I'm the little voice inside your head But you better listen. I'm very happy with how it came out, and I'm going to just add one of these on the back to hang it up. So, uh, like I said, this I think that's gonna have to be the top, okay? So that will be the top and I will UV resin that on there. Actually, it almost hooks right on there where the nib was. I should have left it. it does. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So knowing that this is going to be my top, I did make another little saying piece with my Cricut. Um, so go ahead and varnish this on there. Kind of get it centered and we'll want that high. More like that. No. That good? Oh, I guess that's worth staying. <laughs> Okay, so I decided I want the individual petals to stand out a little more than what they are. So I decided just to do a little bit of gold trim on the edges and see how what a difference that makes. Uh, I think it is making it pop a little, so I like that. So here are the final products. I'm really happy with how they came out and I would just like to say thank you so much to Hippie Crafter for supplying me with the products to make these beautiful pieces. And thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe down below and have a great day. Bye-bye.